I saw somewhere where you said the season's been a little humbling. Uh, it's a learning experience for me. Um, it's going to make me a better coach for next year's team. Some of the stuff that went on that won't go on next year, that holding the bar to a higher standard, not accepting, we we'll have enough guys, Bench is going to be my best friend, all those kind of things will come back into play. And you start to figure out why had my team been so good for so long, and can we now get this stuff going? Can we turn it? This is about when we did it two years ago. But those guys made an effort to listen to say we're going to do what we're asked to do, we're going to play at another level, we're going to take it up a notch, we're going to really fight like heck and play to win. This group can do that same thing, but we'll see. You were great. Well, just said, you know, he's afraid to say they have turned a corner because it seems so many times like they've done it and then fallen back. <coughs> and I think there's some guys in there willing to trust that they, you know, they don't feel like playing, they don't play. So, and we have a little bit of that. Again, if you had a bench, where you could just sit, guys. You just, that guy wouldn't play. You just sit him. But you know what? This team has gone and done a lot of good stuff. At the end of the day, you look back with all that's happened to this team, to be where we are, second place, have the most wins in, against the top six teams. Us in Florida. What? What just happened? And looking at guys playing, we're just hanging around, and that's what we want to do. So, you know, the other side of it is, with what we were and where we were, it's pretty good stuff. How what have you learned about the base this year? I mean, what, what things have you seen in that process? They're still, they, they still fight how they have to play. You know, at some point you got to just, as a player, say, my stuff's not working and I'm dropping like a rock, so tell me what you exactly want me to do. That's hard. That's, that's, a, that's an experience. That's a... You know, you just keep fighting, you keep dying, just keep doing it. And, and so that has been a, an experience for these guys that, you know, haven't been coached, haven't been called out, haven't been told you're wrong, where they never had it before. Uh, you're not working hard enough, you can do this, this is the best I got. No, it isn't. You have more in there. The best I got, and if we lose the game, we lose the game. I'm not giving anything more. Getting through all that kind of stuff, and we're just, we're still young. I mean, you know, you could have this team and next year's group on the same team. Now all of a sudden your bench is your best friend. Practices are at a level that are ridiculous. And my hope is as we wind this down, we go to this tournament and next tournament, that these guys just say, okay, enough's enough. And they hold each other accountable and they get each other to do what they need to do because this team's good enough. This team is, I still believe in this team. This team could do whatever they want. That you can't say, well, I want to do that, but I don't want to do this to get to that. You can't. It doesn't work that way. Cal, what have you learned about you this season through all this? That I can. I thought it was too old to go through what I just went through, and I guess I'm not. You know, some guys were struggling. I said, I'm too old to go through that. And you know what? The one thing I got to say about this staff: no one quit on this team. No one quit on individual players. Um, we kept trying to figure out ways. To how do we get this turn? How do we get them to figure it out? Because at any point, I've been doing this long enough, it doesn't matter if you, two years ago, North, uh, Connecticut won the national title. They were 9-9 in the league. They were like an 11th seed in their tournament. And then they figured it out. Guys started fighting and everybody started playing. Well, you can do this. This is one of those years. But you know, you have to want to do it, and that has to be the most important thing to you. Not how you're playing, how we're playing. And that's part of what I, we're fighting to break through with this team. So kind of, that's why I put out the post. I didn't put out the post in response to anything else. I wanted my team to read what it means to be players first. That was what that was about. I'm sitting there thinking of stuff, and I said, you know, I'm going to tell the team, and I'll tell everybody. So everybody understands what we're trying to get to. And... Uh, you know, this team is, it's just, it's learning, it's still, still wants to fight, you know, things and doesn't want to go all, the whole Monty, but they're getting closer. Yesterday's practice was good, one of our better practices. I'm anxious to see how we do today. That UConn team, Kimba carried them. Do you have a Kimba Walker on this team? Maybe it's Willie. Maybe Willie becomes the most dominating big guy in college basketball makes a difference in every game. 
and everybody else just does what they're supposed to do. Do you think Saturday was a light bulb thing for him where he may have realized just how important he is to what you all are trying to do? The staff to told him that every time you came out and saw what happened, I had to play with you four fouls with 11 minutes to go. Why did you play your guy with four fouls? We well, wanted to win. They didn't want to lose. So I put him back in so we could win the game. And then if he fouled out, I would figure out what to do to try to win the game. Well, you should have let him out four, until four minutes to go and been down 18 and then put him back. Good move. Okay. <laughs> it didn't enter my mind to do that. Not wrong, but it didn't enter my mind. Really, it was like the question was almost like, what question is that? Were you not watching the game? Like, well, at least him making the all-conference freshman team and the other guys making it. was kind of reassuring that, you know, we are good basketball players. Is that they're being questioned across the country now. PTI says you have no point guard. Kid can't play. Says the recruiting were mistakes. I've had people, I won't tell you who they were. I won't tell you who they were, but they said those kids aren't good enough. So all of a sudden, they look at Alex and Archie and say, they say you're not good enough. That's what happens when your team struggles. When your team does really good, you don't even have to take the most shots. You could be the one and two pick. I've been trying to explain that all year, but I'm going to, my own niche, I'm going to carve out my own niche. What happens is you start dropping like rocks. So we have something to prove, believe me. Individuals as a team, we have a lot to prove. Um, I keep telling them, let's worry about us. Let's just play at our best and see what that means. Tell the Alex we saw Saturday. How close is that to what He's okay. He's got. He's still got a ways to go to be what he's capable of being. What did you think of Kyle six day? Happy for him. They didn't take the voting yet in the last week. I can tell you. <laughs> 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 but I'm happy for him. And, and you know, we maybe that inspires him to to step up his play again. How about Erwin? What the surgery did he go find? Where, where um, it went today. We haven't talked to him, um, uh, but we'll we'll be getting updates. We'll put him on Coach Cal. <laughs> Cal, do you have any regrets? Even though you didn't have a bench, not using it, even though you didn't have one, to teach you guys a lesson. I like winning more, <laughs> and so I'm going to do everything and try to get the team across the finish line. It just what happens is it just it's. As a coach, you're doing everything that in your heart of hearts and your bones you know you normally wouldn't do or wouldn't accept or wouldn't even consider to try to get your team across the finish line. Knowing at the end of the season, time to regroup. Going back to how we do things. You're not used to compromising. So no, right? no, it was very hard. I had bloody lips going home, biting my lip many, many nights. My wife's like, did you get in a fist fight? No, I bit my lip for 25 minutes straight. So, and, and again, this team, they can turn this on if they choose to. We were in practice yesterday. Guys are going so hard. Nah, 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 nah. What does this prove to you? Oh, they can do it if they choose to do this. They just choose not to do it. Then by not choosing to do it, they don't understand that selfish. I don't shoot all the balls. It's not what selfish is. Given less than your best effort to cover for your teammate, that is selfish. That is, you're a selfish player. That's what, again, when you're dealing with 18 year olds, 19 year olds, they don't even know this stuff. And the teams I've had in the past, you can win with young kids, you have to have a few veterans that can tell them what to do, and you've got to have enough guys so you can sit guys on the bench. And this team has that. I'll tell you who's been playing well John Hood. Jared Polson giving everything he can. I'm like comfortable going with John Hood. I may even play John Hood at four some. I mean, so he's been playing well. But uh, again, we're, you know, we still, you know, the great thing, we've got a lot to prove. What do you want to be? How do you want to do it? You're going to do this together. we got a lot to prove, and we're going up into an environment that's going to be, you know, a great testing ground for us. Here we go. Let's see what we've done. Last question. How much does it help? of being a two-seed in, in that as opposed to playing maybe four games or five games. Well, that play. would have been tough. Um, but, you know, obviously in any tournament you're in, the higher your seed, the better your, ch your chances of winning the tournament. It's just how it is. It doesn't mean we're going to win it. It doesn't mean you get to the finals or upsets every year in every tournament. 
but the percentages are in your favor if you're a higher seed. It's just how, it's like the other children I tell you all the time, the seed matters. When they act like, well, you're in, don't worry about it. It matters. The higher the seed, the higher your percentages, chances of winning. It's just how it is. So teams right now, some teams are fighting for the higher seeds. Their coaches are right. When coaches get mad if they don't get the right seed, that they're, they're down a level or two, they're, they're right to be mad because it affects what their team can do. Thanks. Thanks.